straightforward kind of format today, just isometric work. Six movements, um, pretty much six minutes to get through the round. We're gonna do four rounds in total. So the first movement is just a split squat, isometric. I've got my left side forward here. I have written right side forward on the prescription, but it doesn't matter. Um, obviously don't do the same size twice in one round. So again, a lot of times with the isometric work is, um, it's almost like kind of, a, I guess, a buy-in or a commitment from the person that's performing the movements to actually perform them correctly. So I'm not just kind of resting in this position, looking like I'm working. I actually am working here by the glute on my rear leg. I'm trying to squeeze to help keep my pelvis in neutral, and I'm trying to pin my rib cage down. So I'm not flaring my ribs or chest up and overextending my back here. So glutes are active here. And it's a little bit of kind of a bracing um, or a squeeze between my front heel and my left foot too. So I'm creating a lot of tension um, throughout the legs, hips, and torso. So 45 seconds here, quick window of recovery. If you're going body weight, you can just probably do a minute straight through. And um, again, you know, it's a little bit of um, honesty and accountability here. I probably put it on a bit more here. I probably could have done the full minute. So just checking the watch here. Again, gunning for the 45 in this video, so 45 seconds of each movement. Again, trying to brace through the, the glutes, chest, ribcage pinned down. go that's the lunge is done so the next up is the push-up I'm gonna try and go for a close grip tricep push-up bottom position again my posture isn't the best uh, so what I'm trying to do here really trying to make sure I could have done a better job you can see a bit of lumbar um, extension there I could talk, there you go the hips going under a little bit more could still squeeze more but I'm really trying to you know brace again through the core so there's a lot a lot going on here not just the arms Push up going. There you go. Scrape my knee along the ground. Nice one, Dave. Graze my knee like a true professional. I'm just carrying on like nothing happened. Wouldn't be like me not to hurt myself or injure myself somehow. Training. So, glute bridge next. What I'm doing here, again, I'm really trying to like, poke the glutes there, get them squeezing. And someone asked me, or asked me there recently, you know, about how high should the hips be. If I push my hips too high, I tend to. I'm arching my lower back, which tends to switch off the glutes. So I want to go only as high as I keep my back flat, and I'm really just chasing that glute uh, engagement, recruitment, whatever you want to call it, but I want to get the, the target muscle group here working. And to be honest here, my glutes, it takes a little bit of kind of going to wake them up. So the first 20 seconds here, I was probably struggling to get them going. I probably could have held a full minute here anyway, um, because I found the latter part of this hold, or this squeeze, was when I really kind of felt the benefit of it. So depending on where you're at, you could do a full minute here. Band isn't necessary, but if you have one, by all means, do use it. And then from here, it's a pretty straightforward transition into the dead bug. Yeah, so I want to keep the knees ideally over my hips here, so my knees aren't kind of creeping in towards my chest. In this one, I can keep my shoulder blades off the floor. I'm kind of reaching for the sky here. Uh, the key is the lower back. I don't want the lower back to come off of the floor. By pushing my lower back down into the ground hard, it should lift my tailbone slightly off the floor. Um, hard to see here, but it shouldn't be like a massive pop up in the air. Also, I'm just bracing through my tummy across my tummy. I kind of say to people, like visualizing like someone's going to step on me or stand on my tummy right now. I'm just going to brace and get ready for impact. So again, we can just gain this and hold this position, but I'm actively working into the position and um, looking for that, that contraction, that squeeze across my tummy.
Then the last bit, um, the fun stuff, a little bit of fluff, but I'm just gonna do a isometric um, curl. So here I don't want the elbow to go back behind me. I want at least kind of forearm distance from the weight to my chest, okay? So again, I'm holding out slightly in front, arms bent about 90 degrees. And here actually, again, glutes and core, I found it wasn't just the arms working. I'm trying to keep my shoulders down or relaxed, but I'm not shrugging up, but core active. And again, trying to maintain that bend in the arm, that 90 degree bend. So you'll know where it is. It kind of it can change the angle of the arm and you want to just go to that place where you have to work. Don't kind of game it and bend the arm too much here. There's our six movements done, uh, six minutes pretty much here. So four rounds, 24 minutes in total.